Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MBN, a news video web. We are here at Bonhams and Butterfields here with Jason Stein. And we're talking about the 20th Century Decorative Arts Auction, which is going to be held Tuesday, October 5th. Now, we're in an environment that's really pretty unusual. Isn't this, Jason? It is. We're in the Tony Duquette Tented Room. It was created for a family in Santa Barbara, and it was their fantasy getaway within their home. Well, this is a fantasy. Oh, now you've got to tell me some more things about. I mean, I'm just looking at everything. It's and, a oh. favorite of everyone that's been coming in to preview this collection are the peacock throne chairs. They were done in a special limited run in Jaipur, India, for the designer Duquette, for this family, for his own home, and for one other uh, collector in Venice. So Italy. you're not going to find these anywhere else. No. Oh my gosh, these no. are fabulous. They're they're rare. They're they're comfortable. They're they're great to sit in. You should take them for a spin. Are you? I can really sit in that. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, the work is incredible. The stamped metal, the design, sort of looking like an Indian palace, really, at the top, and then forming into. The, the full peacock form as you go down the piece. Oh, this is very, very cool. Yeah. Modeled after a throne. Now, how many pieces do you have of this? In this set, there are four. They're estimated at five to 8,000 for the group. Actually, that almost seems too reasonable. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I know. I hope they'll bring more. Oh, these oh, we'll are, these see. are we'll absolutely see fabulous. Yeah. I love them. Okay, now these tables are really kind of interesting. The tables are great. They were sourced in Morocco uh, by Duquette and his design partner, Hudden Wilkinson, for this family. I love that they incorporated this incredible glazed earthenware basin inside the, this table that's sheathed in metal and has bone inlay as well. They're great looking. These are really, these are pretty cool. They are. They're super cool. And you've got a collection of two? Two in that in that lot. The, the side tables here are great too. They were um, painted in trademark Duquette coral red. And what he did in this instance was he took these trunks, these Chinese trunks, that he put these I incredible mounts on. I love the hardware! Yeah, the hardware's fantastic. We're offering the tables with the trunks, just as Duquette would have intended mm -hmm. them to be shown. He originally had done this for a 1960s commission for the uh, the Ducommon family. Oh, these are fabulous. This this lamp here is really pretty interesting here with the oh, shell. Yeah. I, lo I love those lamps too. They're silvered bronze and they incorporate the, uh, the Nautilus shell as the light there. That is real. Now, I cannot believe this. It's like a I mean, is that really two to three thousand dollars? That's it. Yes. That's a, that's really pretty cool. Yeah. And that is sil that's a silver to bronze. It, yes, it is. Yeah, it's a great form. Oh my gosh. The um, the sconces in the room are hubcaps that have been surrounded in sheet metal. <laughs> that is just fun. Truly fun. And used in Duquette's own home as well. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what would you say Duquette's best known for? Oh gosh, I mean, well, he he was a set designer. He was a jewelry designer, a party designer. He, he was he, he's known for so many things. He he worked for fifty to sixty years, and his homes are places that people always want to spend time. I could see that. Yeah. Easily, easily. Mm -hmm. The sofas are really interesting in this room because what we have here are yellow silk covers and then this berry cover as well. The, in the intention here was yellow for spring or summer in the room. Oh, interesting. The berry for fall or winter events. Or you could have your yellow for parties in, in the daytime red for for dinners. So do you have the same cover for 
or two covers for each? Exactly. Oh, that's interesting. So you could always, the, the room was one that could always be moved around and transformed into many settings. And no matter what you did, if you look at the designs up here, you have both colors. So you never have to change that. Yeah, you're always safe. And actually, when I look at this room, I keep thinking, you got to put it all together. I could see it in somebody's home. Just transplant the whole room. Because that's why they're selling it all together, isn't it? Yeah. So somebody I mean, could. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're offering it in consecutive lots, but it would be great if someone went after every single lot and, and did their own Duquette tented room. This is very cool. The tables right here that we're showing outside the room right now, when they were at the house, they, the family would usually set two of them within the space. The thrones would be moved away, and then this became the dining room as well, a further transformation that, that we saw in the space. And it's all about a total envir fantasy environment, totally functional. Yes. Who's in the picture, do you know? Yeah, that would be Tony Duquette on the left and Hudden Wilkinson his design partner on the right, they they created the space and it was Tony's last commission oh, before really? passing away. He did this at the same time that he was working on a really famous uh, palazzo in Venice, Italy for a San Francisco client of his. I just love all the stories that go with them. Yeah. Yeah. There's Thank so you. Ones, of course. Thank you.